James Gilroy shirt. There we go. Uh, should be having one of these shirts. <laughs> anyway, uh, Randy Richard in the shop. How you guys doing? Um, I I had got a rush rush email call for a rush job uh, making the mush hammerheads for what's in your box uh, yeah, from a ray. So uh, I uh, I got right on it. Got all the heads done for him and got them shipped off directly to Brad. Uh, Ray's making the head part. I'm making the, the tips and then Brad's making the handle. So I, actually if you have uh, saw the latest video I think of Brad's or it was Keith Fenner's, uh, Brad's already back there and just delivered the hammer so I thought I'd better put something up with the, at least the hammer heads. Anyway, pretty quick. Uh, uh, video here just a few minutes and we'll uh, get all the heads done and off to them uh, for the toolmakers collaboration so fun good project uh, I really enjoyed uh, uh, doing the punches uh, for this uh, you know you know getting that all together and uh, and then uh, in the end uh, Brian block and uh, Chris Dumont uh, making helping make the punches the three of us made the punches i made the box and, yeah and, and uh they came out really nice uh brian did a great job on the heat treat and and uh getting them straightened out after heat treat a little little couple having a little wahoos they were pretty thin so but you know they all came out just wonderful uh all i could you know from the pictures i never saw them after the ones left here so but uh yeah uh uh, it's a very fun project to participate in. I'm glad to help out on the hammer, and uh, it's just a it's just a great thing. Somebody uh, is going to get a great great toolbox with a lot of fantastic tools. So uh, thanks. Uh, let's get on with the hammer and the tips, I should say, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. So we're making the hammer heads for the mush hammer for what's in your box. Uh, for the hammer, uh, the mush hammer is made by Ray Canelia. And let's see, I got an emergency email and they need hammer heads. So uh, I have, uh, have all the materials for, let's see, UHMW, stainless steel, aluminum, brass, and Delrin. And uh, two each. So, uh, Maybe they're making two hammers. I don't, I'm not sure on that. But, but I said I could do them, get them done for them. For uh, Ray. And I think uh, Brad Jacobs is also helping. So, so we're uh, show you how, I, how I'm doing it. And uh, I'm just going to show you one. and Because uh, there's a bunch of them. So <laughs> we'll just show you this one brass one. And pretty simple. So I've already faced off that brass. That's a piece of 7 8 brass. Number 7 hole for a quarter 20 thread. Four hundred fifty thousand steeps. My tailstock has a nice dial on the end uh, of the tailstock uh, in thousands, so that makes it pretty quick and easy to. Do a hold of depth. A little hand chamfer there. Oops. I'm just going to use a live center. Keep a little temp pressure on, 
keep that centered up nice this makes it a little easy this it's not very deep thread so we'll just do it by hand Okay, now we'll cut the diameter. So 853 is our target diameter. I'm just gonna get this, take a little light cut, get things cleaned up here. Go back about an inch. Wow, we're there. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave it. Have to I'll do a little polish. I, man, I just did all I did was try to clean it up, but that came out with in a, a thousand. So we're okay. So I just kind of hit that with some Scotch Brite and it came out nice. So we're gonna go over. About nine hundred thousandths and uh, part it off. Okay, the what's in your box uh, TMC uh, mush hammer heads all done uh, brass stainless aluminum Delrin and UHMW I I'm pretty sure that's what that is I don't think it was nylon so something soft should work come out good <laughs>